All right, people. We've got the first layer of resin up on the tweeter pods, in both panels. Looking good. Uh, they need to be sanded down a bit and have the uh, holes cut out. And then we can go ahead and throw some uh, mat on them. But I'm thinking I'm going to uh, wait to do the mat and uh, try and get these things figured out. Because the way I want to do it is going to be extremely hard. So i got to work on that. We're going to sand these down first and get the holes cut though. So we got to the, the uh, first hole. panel with all four Hyphonix tweeters in it. Uh, they're not mounted, they're just kind of chilling there for right now. But uh, I got to uh, shave all this down. I'm going to shave a little bit down here, shave some down here, shave this whole piece off right here. Stuff cut out all the holes for that one. Used my uh, wherever the hell it went, wherever the hell I put it. Oh, there's a cord. Oh, here we go. My handy little Dremel. The uh, roto zip. But uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this magazine, but street trucks. It's amazing. Uh, but yeah, once I get that done, once I uh, finish this and trim them all, I'm going to put the uh, bottom pieces on. There's one right here for this actual door. So here's the stands. Let's sit just like that, roughly. Got to figure out how I'm going to wrap the fleece on that properly and get it the way I want it. And then uh, I'm going to be shaving all these body lines. Uh, all this body line, this body line, this body line. Make it look like one full panel. That's going to be covered, of course. So, make a vid once I uh, get those holes cut and right, get them both trimmed down. Both panels are uh, sanded down properly to where they are all pretty much flush. Well, flat-ish. To where when I lay the glass down there won't be many bumps. Uh, I still gotta sand down a little bit right here, get rid of that edge. Uh, this edge is has a little bit of work that needs done to it. Uh, the other one I haven't done yet, but uh, right, guys. I've yeah. uh, gone through and knocked off all the high spots on both the panels. I'm going through and just took a uh, 120 grit or something. Just all the high spots. Might have been 80 grit, I'm not sure. But uh, they're pretty smooth. They're ready for actual mat. But like I said, I gotta get those done. But actually, I'm going to uh, take a break and read some more ma magazine because I'm really dizzy because I haven't eaten well in the past few days and I haven't slept very well. Uh, just some health issues and a lot of uh, just a lot of depression at the moment. Uh, you guys don't have to worry about me, I'll be fine. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to take a break. And then, probably take a half hour break. And I'll, uh, jump back on these pieces. And get that well, shit that done. took forever. Uh, got this whole thing looking good. These pieces right here. That's irrelevant right now. They'll be fixed. Uh, mainly because there's a giant hole right here, so I have nothing to staple it to. But, uh, yeah, all this excess will be cut off and etc. etc. But, uh, that's one. Now I gotta wrap the other one and throw some resin on them and do everything. So, all the over second again. one was about 300 times easier than the first since I already knew what I had to do. So, I guess it's time to start glassing people. again. There's both panels with fleece and resin on them. gonna let them sit here in the sun and dry and I might trim them later but for right now I'm probably done for the day so I'm gonna go ahead and post this video probably go to sleep even though it's like only seven o'clock